Welcome to another episode of Food, food Face Off. Off. It's a brand new year. A brand new season. And lots of new food. So what's on the menu today, Friday? First place we're going to is McDonald's for their salted egg yolk fries, their peach pie, as well as their pandan ice cream. Mm-mm. And then we'll head over to Mr. Bean for their golden soy milk, their golden salted egg ice cream, as well as their vegetarian bakwa golden egg wedge. And lastly, we're going to Starbucks for their chestnut black tea latte and their vanilla bean black tea with espresso fusion and their Earl Grey tiramisu cake. Mm-mm, all sounds very, very yummy. Is it good for our tummy? Only one way to find out. Yes, let's go! go! <laughs> wow, it's a very strange taste. Then the salted egg only comes at the end. There's a sour overtone throughout. Yeah, so yeah. it's like a, a salted egg mayo of sorts. I feel like if you're going to call it salted egg overload, your first initial taste should be salted egg. I don't mind it, but I'm not sure if I can finish a whole box on my phone. It can finish a lot, yeah. Oh no, it smells like iced peach tea. Oh. My favourite part of this pie is the crust. Mm. Mm. Because it doesn't taste like the peach. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of this. It looks better than it tastes. Let's just put it that way. Oh, it smells like... Those uh, pandan flavorings that you get at the bakeries, you know, right, right, right. Made, 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 you want to bake, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, smell it. Yeah, I'm smelling a lot of um, pandan chiffon cake, but then I open my eyes and oh my god, it's an ice cream. I'm tasting a lot of cream, not enough pandan. But when you have it with the chocolate, it's actually not bad. You can do this on the gram, I guess. Soy ice cream, right? Mm. It's Mr. Bean. Oh. <laughs> It's a very wait, complex place. Wait, what just happened in my mouth? Okay, first you mm. need to really decipher if you like the soy ice cream to begin with. I'm not a fan of the soy ice cream. But the more you eat it, the less weird it becomes. Okay, so imagine you are eating tau hui and then you suddenly pour in a bit of like salted egg crumbs and somehow it works. Oh, oh. Wow, look at that. It's delicious. I don't mind that it's actually not real meat. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's true. It's good. Mm. It's a very good balance of flavours. Uh, the sweet aftertaste from the vegetarian bakwa. I think they got the texture and they got the sweetness right. Yeah. And I don't blame them if it doesn't taste like the actual meat. Sure, yeah, uh, I think to. you can never recreate sure. you know, actual bakwa if it's vegetarian. So besides the traditional soy milk that we all love, it comes with brown sugar this time and IU jelly. How about you shake it? <laughs> Ooh! Ooh. Mm. Okay, I've tried brown sugar drinks before and I like it. I like it better than usual sugar. Brown sugar is always better. I don't know for some reason. Honestly, I haven't tried soy milk in so long and I forgot how much I enjoy it. Uh, you give me the sweetness on the jelly and the brown sugar, it just complements it so well and it's not too sweet. Your ice proportion is not too much. So it means the drink won't be watered down, mm. which is great. Very good. Very good. What are these bits on top there? They look very red and festive. And... They're ch uh, candied chestnut bits and strawberry bits as well on top. It smells funky. <laughs> why do you think make your face making me scared? Why your face like that? Do you taste the chestnut? That's the thing. Um, it's called the chestnut tea latte. I can taste a lot of milk. I don't taste enough tea. What I enjoy the most is actually the candied chestnuts and the strawberry bits on top. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, okay. I'm, kind of, I'm interested now. No, you don't like it. You can really taste the coffee in there. You can definitely taste the espresso. Again, the tea could be stronger. I do think though, it's an acquired taste. If yeah. some people when it comes to Starbucks, mm. the number one thing Starbucks is known for is their cappuccinos. Right. So you want something that's very sweet. This is not, right. the, it's not sweet. Yes. At least not at the beginning. Finally, we have the Earl Grey tea ramisu cake. To be honest, I am quite disappointed with this cake. The Earl Grey taste is very, very, very faint and there's nothing about this that remotely reminds me of a tiramisu except for maybe the mascarpone in the middle layers. Uh, it's MJ. Mm. When you were in Rome, right? She's gonna be a pun. <laughs> I see, I can hear it coming. When you were in Rome? Yeah. <laughs> I tiramisu you. <laughs> oh my god! This is... Well, good job for the pun, but I know this is a complete lie because if you rewind to food face off, 14. <laughs> you said? Guess who's back? Did you miss me? I didn't. 
Okay, a lot of interesting flavours today. Yeah, so much for our New Year resolutions. We ate too much food, but which was your favourite? Hands down, my favourite is Mr Bean's Vegetarian Bakoa Golden Egg Witch. It was really a very good surprising meal. Now, what about you? So I can't believe I'm saying this, but my favourite is actually the vegetarian dish, the Vegetarian Bakoa yes. Golden Egg Witch. I mean, I would gladly have it for like breakfast, lunch and dinner. Really, hands down, my favourite dish of the day. I think everyone should go and try it. Wow. What? dish today you think that people shouldn't waste their time on? Honestly, the one that didn't make me feel very peachy was the peach yeah. pie. That was a very big disappointment. In fact, I didn't really enjoy all the dishes from McDonald's, I'm sorry to say. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the salted egg yolk fries were also a little bit too sour for me. Like, you know, are you trying to be mayo? Are you trying to be vinaigrette? Or are you trying to be salted egg? Make up your mind. Tell us what you think, go out and try it for yourselves. And if you have new food items you want to try, uh, let us know so we can taste it for you and you don't have to waste all the calories. Until next time, tune in to the next episode of Food, Food Face Off! Off. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up if you like it and click here to subscribe to STIR. Click here for more STIR videos and click on the little bell so you don't miss any of our new exciting content. It's a new year, a new me.